Clap. Piers gloats as he wins Megofcom complain tro, a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio's. Piers Morgan was today sensationally cleared by Ofcom who backed his right to free speech after he said that he didn't believe a word of what Meghan Markle told Oprah Winfrey and challenged her claims of royal racism and suicidal thoughts live on Good Morning Britain. The UK's broadcasting watchdog called attempts to silence him a chilling restriction on freedom of expression after the Duchess of Sussex was among an avalanche of people who complained that his questioning of her account was harmful and offensive to viewers. Mr Morgan told Mail Online today, this is a resounding victory for free speech and a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio's. Meghan, 40, was among the 57,000 people who went to Ofcom after an orchestrated social media campaign spearheaded by his woke critics including several Labour MPs, who accused him of racism and sexism. Within 48 hours of the March 7 Oprah interview, Mr Morgan was forced to quit GMB after he refused to apologise for his honestly held opinions costing ITV around 790,000 viewers and millions more in advertising revenue with the ratings gap between GMB and rival BBC Breakfast still growing. On the day Piers quit, GMB was in the lead. And Ofcom today backed Mr Morgan's right to rigorously challenge the Duchess's account of suffering suicidal thoughts and claims she experienced racism at the hands of the royal family. Complaints that his views on the programs on March 8 and March 9 were unsuitable for children and incited hatred and racism were also thrown out. ITV's left-leaning former Guardian chief CEO Dame Carolyn McCall is under pressure to explain why she tried to suppress the presenter's free speech after the Duchess of Sussex complained to her directly and allegedly implored her to censure her critic as they were both women and mothers. There was complete vindication for the star. 56, who branded Meghan Princess Pinocchio, as Ofcom ruled, Mr Morgan was entitled to say he disbelieved the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's allegations and to hold and express strong views that rigorously challenged their account. And in a damning indictment of his former bosses and the 57,000 people who complained, the watchdog found, the restriction of such views would, in our view, be an unwarranted and chilling restriction on freedom of expression both of the broadcaster and the audience. Other allegations roundly rejected by Ofcom included that Mr Morgan were not duly impartial, he had misrepresented facts and that he mocked the American accent. Reacting to today's ruling Mr Morgan told Mail Online, I'm delighted that Ofcom has so emphatically supported my right to disbelieve the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's incendiary claims to Oprah Winfrey many of which have since been proved to be untrue. This is a resounding victory for free speech and a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio's. As Ofcom says, to have stifled my right to express strongly held and robustly argued views would have been an unwarranted and chilling restriction on freedom of expression. In light of this decision, do I get my job back? He added, I was reliably informed recently that Meghan Markle wrote directly to my ITV boss Dame Carolyn McCall the night before I was forced out, demanding my head on a plate. Piers Morgan's comments about Meghan Markle's chat with Oprah Winfrey was not against Ofcom regulations. Good Morning Britain was not in breach of the broadcasting code over Piers Morgan's comments about the Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, Ofcom has said. Moments after the news broke, Piers, who exited GMB after the row, tweeted about his happiness over the ruling. The Bolshe TV host penned, breaking, at Ofcom rejects all complaints against me over Meghan Markle furore that led to my exit from at GMB. Verdict says I was entitled to disbelieve her and Prince Harry and to restrict my right to do so would be a chilling restriction on freedom of expression.